We've talked about a lot of this shit, so I'm just going to get to the highlights here. But there's some stuff to cover, so let's get to it. Let's do take a minute to remember the World of Warcraft that I fell in love with and how awesome it was. I mean, is there a better juxtaposition than these two girls in the back and then my man here sitting out representing what this franchise used to be about and how the mighty have fallen? Oh, God, what the hordes are. Look at this. All the way down to this. Heartbreaking. Maybe they could bring it back as a new game mode. Huh? They seem to be really fond of those these days. Could they even do this old World of Warcraft justice? I don't know. Rest in peace, old World of Warcraft. You are sorely missed. Welcome to WoWcast. Today we're going to talk about The War Within, which alpha starts soon. I have two special guests with me today. Please introduce yourselves. You don't have to introduce yourself to me, handsome. I know who he is. This is my loving man. My sweet, sweet has a costus. We've been together for many years now. We run a little hot and cold because I get so worked up at him because I love Warcraft, but I hate the direction they're going and have been going for some time now. I don't like a lot of things about my Holy Pally and they why they just completely abandon PvP drives me nuts. But then he hits me with these crystals and I see the future of me and him together forever. My loving man, I know who you are, handsome. You don't have to tell me. Hi, I'm Ian, game director on WoW. I'm Tina, associate art director. And Mrs. Wang over here, associate art director. One of the things we can all agree on, I think, is that the art in World of Warcraft is top notch. The only thing I don't like about what's going on here is look at my loving man catching a peep and she's sitting a little close to my guy. So careful where you tread, sweetheart. They're on well. Thank you but guys. Good so job much on the joining. art. Well, so the war within, I mean, of course, it is the tenth expansion to well known video game World of Warcraft. But even I think more special to us, it's the beginning of the World Soul Saga. It's the beginning of probably the most ambitious story we've ever tried to tell in WoW. I'll just say right away, I was shocked when I heard about the World Soul Saga. And not just because I'm not a big fan of this direction, although that is true. I just thought that the story kind of had concluded. I mean, at some point, I felt like we should just wrap it up and either do like a prequel thing. To me, expansion after expansion, new zone, new features, new everything. It's just a convoluted mess and they needed to collapse it down and start fresh. I was shocked that they decided not only to keep going, but to dedicate another, you know, seven years in this direction. Uh, I was especially shocked when you looked at the Dragonflight numbers and saw that it didn't even sell that well. So it wasn't like they had some amazing feedback, and people keep talking about how WoW is back. And World of Warcraft's crushing and the subs are up, but the subs are being carried by Classic WoW. If you look at the chart that they listed, you'll see that Dragonflight was dropping off. And remember, Dragonflight's received more support than most expansions combined. I mean, they have pumped content into World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Now, that content has been Niffin' Sniffin' and Dragon Daycare and archaeology and all this type of stuff. So you can you can debate on how hit or miss that content is, but it's most certainly received more love and attention than most other expansions. It is true that most people that play World of Warcraft play retail, but that community is more and more divided than ever. And... I just, I have some concerns moving forward. I wonder about, you know, there's always that initial hype for a new expansion or a new game. There just is. But that can fade very quickly depending on the features and how, you know, what's the actual meat and potatoes of the expansion. And then the other part of it is, I don't know how long the classic treadmill can continue to produce the numbers it's producing. It seems like maybe a really long time. 
but maybe it's kind of losing that loving feeling. So I'm not sure of how long they can keep juggling all these different versions of WoW and keeping them fresh and updated. I mean, how many times do you update Sod and add new abilities before it really just starts to feel like the Burning Crusade or Lich King? I mean, at what point is it doesn't even feel like classic anymore? And the same with retail. I mean, if you look at what's coming with War Within from Delves to the talent trees now, I mean, there is so much reuse shit that I, uh, I, I, I just don't know. I love WoW. I think it's a great game. I still have a lot of fun playing it, but I, I definitely did not want them to go in this direction. And the fact that they're doing it for the next seven years just absolutely floored me. But it doesn't mean I still can't have a good time doing what I love to do. And, you know, the world doesn't revolve around me. So I'm happy for those of you who love this new modern WoW because you're going to get a lot more of it. So this character has been everywhere for the War Within, Zelatath. She's purple, she's amazing. Can you tell us more about her? Yeah, Zelatath is, uh, you know, one of our key villains of the World Soul Saga. The expansion is, I mean, part of it is this journey, uh, delving deeper, find Zelatath and her allies, and uh, the inspiration uh, for her design from an art. Okay, so can we just cut the crap here? First off, like I've said a thousand times before, we already beat a bad guy with a sword this big. Whatever you think the suspense that you're creating, it's gone. Once you can beat a guy with a sword this big, you don't have to worry about shit. Okay, we won. So they blow up Dalaran. It's probably for the best so they can't reuse it again. I mean, this is the new antagonist we're supposed to really get worked up about, really? Ratty purple hair and shitty tattoos and a bunch of attention seeking. I mean, you can find this girl at your local hot topic. You know, a couple hundred nautical miles away from a certain sword that's sticking oh. out of the southern end of Kalimdor. But yes, home to four zones um, with amazing, varied settings. One of the great talents of the WoW team is the building awesome worlds to roll around in. And these zones will be top notch. You just know they will be. And it's always fun to log in and just fly around inside the art, in my opinion. Oh, God, look at that crystal hanging down from... That is awesome. That is so cool. You're going to be able to run around this. And I got to tell you, I'm really excited about this because one of my favorite pieces of content ever was Suramar. I just think World of Warcraft zones are amazing. One of my favorite things about the game is just being in the world that they create. And our journey begins on the doorstep of these ancient earthen people who are going to begin, you know, helping us figure out. I'm not really excited about the earthen coming in and all the storm griffins. I really wish they had just made this wild hammer dwarves and that you could customize your dwarf to be wild hammer. I don't really like the earthen jewels in my skin. It looks like it'd be a real problem. Ah, delves. Let's get. Let's start talking about delves. Yeah, I mean, delves are one of the major new features in War Within, and I think we're really excited to offer. A they go on with delves here for a few. Let's just summarize this real quick. What did I tell you delves were going to be? And here's my boy, Handsome Jack who has alpha access and he's got a whole video up on delves. It's down in the description. Give my boy some views. Love this guy so much. He's a healer slut. He plays them all, but I think there's a holy pally main in there. He has a whole video out on delves. You run around, kill shit, collect powers, and then kill the boss. Sound familiar? This community gets worked up all the time. It just, it, it amazes me. They're like, what do you think of Delves? What do we think about Delves? Are Torghast in a cave? That's what Delves are. So did you like Torghast? Because if you like Torghast, you're going to like Delves. And if you weren't a big fan, I can, can't see how you're going to really enjoy Delves. I just, they're the same thing. Run around, kill shit, grab powers, kill more shit. Grab your loot. 
right at the start of that, we're going to give you this epic customizable mount, kind of the, the successor to the customizable. Oh, the plane's kind of cool. I will tell you, dragon flying in planes is just awkward. If you sat on an airplane that thrusted forward over and over, you'd want your money back on that plane ticket. I was actually really hoping one of the things they would do for this expansion was rather than keep Dragonflight this combo point thrusting, that they'd make it more momentum based. Uh, but I guess we're going to keep the thrusting. And to be fair, everyone talks about how great fucking the sky is. So keep pumping. Another feature coming in the War Within that I'm really excited about, as well as a lot of other people, is Warbands. Yeah, Warbands, I mean, again, I think as I summarized it at BlizzCon, it's just account-wide everything, mm -hmm. almost everything. Uh, this is such this, a know, great change. Recently. And then you get to see all of your favorites on, uh, you know. This is awesome. I don't like the Horde and Alliance together around the same campfire, but the Warband thing is cool. Outstanding change for all my altaholics. I'm so happy for you. You can't forget about PvP. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Okay, okay, uh, so this is going to get me cross because this is gaslighting. Forgetting about PvP is exactly what happened. The PvP community has asked for tuning changes and MMR updating. That's it. That's the only two things they've asked for. And they've had time to develop Plunderstorm, Pandaria Remix, and what those two game modes have proven more than anything is if you incentivize it, they will come. People that don't even like playing the game modes will do it just to get the rewards. But what they have not done is incentivized and given game development time to the PvP community. It has been completely abandoned, which is something they left off on their roadmap. If you go back and look at the roadmap, about halfway after season two, it should have said, this is where the PVP development stops. We are done with the PVP community, but please still give us your money. You can have all these intentions and you can talk about all this stuff, but let's not lie about what has actually happened because that's not fair. Don't sit there and tell people that you can't forget about PVP when that's exactly what you've done. Now, I know that she doesn't make the decisions on what it is, and she's just doing this interview and trying to keep the pace. So, But, but, I, but I want to be crystal clear here. That is exactly what happened in Dragonflight, where they're talking about more content and keeping content pace and all that, and you have failed to both incentivize and tune up and address issues within PvP. And most certainly... Casual PvP BGers like me have been completely abandoned. But this is the cycle with World of Warcraft and PvP. Big promises, lack of throughput. Hey Paul, this one is earthen themed. It's a bit of a mashup between uh, Silver Shard Mines and Arathi Basin. So, you know, hold some points, push some carts. Uh, we're really excited to see how. Okay, this is Deep Wind Gorge. This is old Deep Wind Gorge. You had carts. That we're going back and forth. You're trying to score carts with your team while you try to hold points at the same time. This is a new old battleground. So welcome back, Deep Wind Gorge, a.k.a. Deep Hall Ravine. Uh, people who've been paying attention over the course of Dragonflight have checked out our uh, battleground blitz, our kind of brawl that was testing out a 8v8 solo queue rated battleground format. We're happy to move to that as a default for how Rated Battlegrounds are going to work going forward. I think we're really excited to make that Battleground experience that personally I've always felt is the best part of WoW PvP, that larger scale, more cooperative, objective-based, um, you know, collaborative, competitive setting as opposed to... The oh, talk dirty to me, handsome. This is how, see how we do? We, he gets me all worked up and then he makes me fall back in love again. I completely agree. This is a double-edged sword for me, so I don't like the 8v8 format. I like the 10 on 10 or 15 on 15. I just want random battlegrounds to be incentivized. I think you should be able to get all of your conquest gear through honor, just playing PvP. If you want the T-Mogs and the titles and stuff that comes with Arena, you can go do that. But you should be able to farm PvP gear just by doing random and epic battlegrounds. We need 
casual players to be able to have access to PVP, have access to the PVP gear. And then after that, it can just, you can have your different modes. But I'm very glad to hear, first off, that that one of the head guys agrees with me that Battlegrounds are the best version of PVP. That is healing to my soul to hear him say that because I completely agree. And you'll know that from the moment I started this channel, I've said that. That's been my big anthem uh, in WoW PvP. Random battlegrounds are the shit. I love them and I love my epics. Now, this needs to be coupled with incentivization and tuning up and kind of taking care of some of those old and epic battlegrounds could use some tuning. So this has there's some actions that need to be taken up to back up this statement. Again, I'm not a big fan of 8v8, but if you want to make that the competitive mode, I don't really give a shit. But we need incentives and you need to be able to get your PVP gear just by doing randoms. Okay, conquest needs to go away. There should be one currency for PVP and it should be honor. And if you want to give more honor for people that do solo shuffle or competitive game modes, fine. Everybody should be able to come and get their PVP gear and have fun PVP in. To be fair to the PVP community, we've had big promises before. And then again, we just get dumped for whole seasons. So we'll see what this actually means, but I am very glad to hear it. Another feature in the War Within is hero talents. We've been having a lot of articles talking about them. What are some of the other things that we can expect with the hero talents coming forward? And we can skip the talent section. I've already talked a lot about talents, but let's just briefly go over how right I am about it. First off, the talent trees that everybody keeps bragging about has handed out everything to everybody. Everybody has stuns, everybody has fears, everybody has a ton of CC, and now we're getting massive amounts of overlap between classes. Class, every class summons some type of pet, every class summons, I mean, it's just the amount of overlap between classes now because as you build these big trees and then more trees and you add on to it, at some point, shit just starts all playing the same. I mean, now druids are going to do damage to do healing. Sound familiar, disc priests? Everybody brags about these talent trees are awesome, but the reality is what it's led to is everybody having a shit ton of everything. And spec identity and strengths and weaknesses between classes has gone away. So what are we doing with professions in the War Within? Uh, I think when we really overhauled professions in Dragonflight, we saw that as, as a kind of a <laughs> oh, shift God. professions were going to work going oh, forward. Oh, this is so disappointing. Expect, you know, new recipes, different enchants, but the same fundamental sort I of progression and structure. I hate to professions that you saw. The profession shit. Can well, I say the, that? The feedback that we heard throughout Dragonflight, though, was a bit of frustration with the work order system from... I think my biggest problem with professions is that they're just needlessly complex. And then areas where I feel like they could make professions awesome, like one of my favorite things is the fishing, right? And still to this day, you just cast and click. But why not? I mean, you've added interactive flying. You've added all this crazy shit to the game. Why not make interactive fishing? I mean, they've copied tons of other game stuff. Why not just grab the fishing model of something like Sea of Thieves and put it in the game. There's plenty of ways to spice up professions without needing a goddamn spreadsheet to figure out, you know, do this. And it, I don't know. It's just overly complex. And the, and the complexity isn't even fun. Making it more fun rather than more in depth, I think should be the goal. Uh, I, I am really disappointed to hear about the professions. And I'll tell you who's going to be really upset is my bags. Oh my God. My bags in Dragonflight just shit everywhere in my bags. Thank you so much for joining me for The War Within. And thank you for joining us for this. Really, this is one of the most exciting times ever for the development team, when we get to pull back the curtain and welcome you all into this world that we've been building in the last few years. So can't wait to see you in the alpha. And can't wait to hear all of your feedback. Right away, The War Within... What do we know? Well, it'll be that same good old retail. So the things I love about retail, the beautiful art, the the T-Mog stuff, the battlegrounds that I've always loved, just playing and being in the world of Warcraft. There's not really a game like it. When it comes to playing a paladin or being a paladin or a druid or whatever, the class design, the dungeon design, the the fluidity of the movement and the abilities going off, there's just not another game that even comes close to doing it as well as Warcraft does. However, I don't see the hype. 
I don't see the hype that this is supposed to be generating. Now we're well out from when this launches. So, you know, there's always that marketing campaign that's going to come in to create the hype. But when I talk to people, there are as many people that are kind of not that excited about this as that are. I want World of Warcraft to succeed. I want it to win. I hope for these people it does. I'm happy to admit that I'm not the demographic anymore. I still think the game is great in a lot of ways, but I got to tell you guys, I'm, 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 I'm concerned here because I want it to be successful and I don't see the hype, but maybe I'm just being a little too skeptical and there's just, it's going to crush and it's going to be the greatest wow expansion ever, but I have my concerns. Thank you to these lovely ladies and my loving man hit me like Medusa with those beams. I'm frozen. Oklahoma out.